Hey Stampers, Game again. I'm back with part two of the alternate cards from the uh, Joy to the World Paper Pumpkin. And these are the first two I did that were alter the alternative versions. And obviously I did one of each from the actual kit. So we've got four cards up to now. I reckon we can make a good 12 to 16. So let's get cracking on two more beautiful cards. So I've got my card bases. I'm just using plain uh, my white thick cardstock and I like because it's a good 300 GSM so it, it's substance so it stands up well it doesn't bow and buckle like most uh, thinner cardstocks do I'd also like to uh, I'm gonna actually do one totally different so I'm gonna have my cherry cobbler which is three and seven eighths by five uh, three and seven eighths by five and five eighths and my whisper white which is three and five eighths by five and three eighths just to give that a gorgeous little border all the way around i might i'm going to do some stamping i might even run it through embossing folder afterwards so let's just for the moment pop that to one side I'm going to grab my mental ink because in the card kit you don't only just get this beautiful wreath you also get these gorgeous little dots so you can put uh, you know you can just add some little dots and you get this stunning little flower as well it's absolutely beautiful so this is the one I want to use on this card so you know me grab a piece of scrap what have I got here that'll do And I'm just going to stamp this gorgeous flower all over. Maybe, whoops, we'll have, uh, I'm just going to do it around the outsides actually for a minute. I might add something in the centre. Oh, look at that. Fits on there. Perfect. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Get my clean cloth at the ready. You know me, I like to clean as I'm going along. If you are new to my channel and you've just discovered me, why don't you just press that little subscribe button and the bell. That way you won't get noticed, uh, won't miss out on any future video. And I do tend to post four times a week. So Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays and Sundays. So I'm going to be using the Just Jade Light. And I'm just going to cut around these beautiful leaves. And they're not going to take long at all, believe it or not. It might think, oh, a lot of colouring involved there, but not really. Not really at all. I'm literally drawing two lines down my leaves. That's it. Maybe three on the big one. And I know you all like to watch me colour as well. Maybe I should pull you down a little bit more. And again, I don't forget to pull them back. Literally two lines, done. One, two, three. Done, 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 done. Perfect. And it makes for a beautiful card anyway, so. You'll see, I'm the last one already. How cute is that? So 
So that's the green over with. I'm not, I'm not going to be too fussed on the shading for the leaves. But for the flowers, my nib is knackered. Oh, it'd be good, it'd be alright on these. Oh, I hate it when the nib messes up. Oh, I'm going to have to use, oh, that's going to really hinder me now. A small end. Unless I just draw around. Nib it is. Tell you what, do all the fiddly bits first, Gainer. Do round the edges and then go with your nib end. Sounds like a plan. Do the tiny little bits first. And now go around the outside. And this is just the light colour. We might just end it with the light colour. Perfect. And see how fast we can do this one. Quite a few flowers there. But you know me, this is my favourite part. You can always fast forward this bit and come back to when I stop colouring. I don't do that, but if you want to, you're more than welcome. Just going around the edges now. Last two flowers, and then we can go and fill those in. This little stamp would be perfect for decorating the envelope with. Right, let's whiz through these now. Any white bits, don't worry about that because we're going to go over with the dark. And have a few shaded areas with that. ones on the ends. I cut the nib off one of these ones and it doesn't sit well. They're just not built to last, these nibs aren't. There we go, so I've done the, the light of the two. So now for the dark, I'm just literally just going to go 
go over those lines you want it to be a nice and I suppose this is not a card for uh, bass producing unless you don't mind doing all the colouring you could move your, use your stamp apparatus and move it up that way I suppose but I think just by doing it by hand is quicker but this filling in now is getting quite okay and it's a different alternative to the actual card kit I think people just love to see other people's ideas on what they can do with this kit and if it's worth if it's worth buying it because if I can turn this into those 15, 16 cards instead of just the 8 that most people would do with the kit then you're going to get twice as much wear out of it perfect and I've gone over those little dots perfect I think that's really cute so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab some gold foil I'm going to roughly measure the centre so I'm going to say 2 inches by 3.5 2 by 3.5 sit oh my scissors just don't want to stand up so gold foil Two by three and a half. I did say on the other cards that I've got some of this. This will then be attached in the centre there. Attached onto there. Beautiful. Let's get some glue out. I was going to run that through a bossing fold, but I won't bother with this one. I'll do it on something else instead. Boom, 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 boom. You can use alternate colours. You don't have to stick to the cherry coupler. I've just got those bits out, so... See if I can get that straight and centered. Oh, that is so cute. I know it's a bit glary at the moment, but don't worry about that. We're gonna grab one of our beautiful labels that came with this kit. When I can find them. There they are. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. I'm going to have my Merry Christmas. I don't really want to use the red again, so let's go for just jade. Let's see what that looks like. Cute. We've got those lovely little dots. of that so we're making even more cards so dimensionals oh 
Oh, let me zoom back out a bit. Perfect. And one more thing, I've got my sprig punch. Pop a little sprig out of that one. And I'm gonna glue that just down that side. And I've got a spare piece here. I'm just going to pop another one out. I think two should be plenty. Cute. I like that. And then last but no means least, I'm going to pop that on there. Found my little tish here. Get any excess glue off. Love it. So I'm going to pop this on dimensional. First of all, I'll grab some of this beautiful gold thread and I'm going to wrap that around my card. Perfect, and then tie a little bow as you can. So one, two, three. the only waste. I've added a glue dot. So it keeps it nice and tight. Spread those out a little bit. I just want to stay tied. Oh, it's coming undone. Look at that. So we can't mess with it for too much. Just hold that in place. Put a bit of glue around that knot and then it won't come undone. Oh, I love it.
Oh, that is so pretty. I love that. So, once that goes off permanently, it will stick down. It just takes a little bit longer to go off. Oh, pegs. I haven't got any long enough, I don't think. Game is talking to itself again. There. I knew we've got a peg somewhere. Will it go down? No, not longer. Uh, it is starting to go off, so I'm not. Oh, it's coming. I'll put tape behind it. I have to. But this sort of little thing doesn't want to go off for some reason. I'll get it to work. Don't worry. So I'm going to pop that to one side just for a mo, and then we can pull back the other one later. So. Let's work on card number two. And let's see what we've got. Let's cut one of our cards up again. Da -da. Three and seven eighths. I mean, you could open that up and use that on something else, but I'm not going to bother. I'm going to keep hold of that for another card, and I'm going to take this down to um, five and five eight. So I'm going to do that to three. Put that to one side for another card. Perfect. Let's grab some designer series paper. Not wide enough. Let's see what I fancy. I do quite like that actually, but not with that one today. Right. No. Oh. Let's use that one, maybe. Mm. That's quite nice. Yeah, I think I'll use that one. And it's got the crumb cake in there as well, so three and seven eighths again. And by three. I know my card's not six, but we can have them overlapping underneath. Some to grip too. shared all my designer series paper the six by six ones with one of my ladies who then went on to share them with other ladies which I think is amazing thank you Catherine you like me you got a heart of gold and uh, I couldn't part with the plaid tidings I just couldn't I think it's so nice sorry about that Catherine so let's get a little strip of our gold let's add this first. Perfect. And then I can take that down to three and seven eighths. I know it's all measurements and steps, but it's worth it. Let's 
let's uh, get my little tape out if I can find it. There you are. This is an eighth of an inch. And it'll save me getting any glue on my silver uh, gold card. Love that ribbon, as, uh, that tape as well. Look at that, looks nice. Oh, did I? I didn't add any gems on this one. I've got them already popped up. just to finish that off. Three little gems. Cute, cute, cute. Right, let's see what else we got. the glue just added a bit of bonus maybe we could wrap some ribbon around this one um, let's see I've got the braided linen thread that's real red so does it really, well, it doesn't really matter does it Still got a bit of glue on there as well, so. Top or bottom one? Let's have it at the bottom. Just make sure my doesn't come off. A bit more glue on there so we know it's not coming off. Let's grab a wreath. Oh, we're going to have that beautiful flower. No, I want a wreath this time. Pop that. Let's glue that on. Am I going to stamp on it? No, I'm not going to stamp on this one. Perfect. Now I'm going to grab because we haven't got much. Joy. Just 
Not many English words on there. Right. Joy, love and peace. Peace to live in yours. And we'll add joy to the world. And we've only used joy already, so. Love, joy, and peace. So we've still got a full card. Mm, I'm just contemplating. That would bury itself in there so let's dab this I'm not going to stick this one on dimensionals pop that piece there Till that let goes dry. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, you're really thinking overdrive. I've got some lovely little snowflakes that I had from a couple of years back as well. Ooh, maybe we stick one of them on. That is so cute. Right, now we need a little label. Peace to the world. Peace to all. There's another sentiment here. It says, wishing you a very happy Christmas filled with fun and laughter. Um, okay, there's lots of word forms. I wouldn't send somebody. I'll just leave it with the piece. Just leave it with the piece on. Grab some gems. Doesn't say on earth though, does it? Send it to the world and to you and yours. Mm. So. Add one I'm stuck together there two. Let's cut that. Two three Why are we sticking to me and not the card? Oh, let's get rid of that one, it's got hair on it. Get that one, pop that down there. Grab our linen thread that we just used, make a bow. Sellotape. A small bow, or we can have a big bow. <sighs> it won't let me have a bigger one now, so. I'm going to use a little tiny bit of my tape this time, make sure it stays on. There we go. Ooh. So 
that is alternate card number four. And I can pop that back with that. And pop them over there. Just need to grab two envelopes because I forgot to put one with the other. So there's our beautiful peace card. And then this is our Merry Christmas card. And there go two other types of cards besides uh, the kit. I hope you like it. I'd love a thumbs up and a share. That would be amazing. My clock's starting to dry out very quickly. I would really, really appreciate a thumbs up and a share. That, that would be fantastic. And also, it, like I say, if you're new to my channel but enjoy what you see, I do post four times a week. Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays and Sundays. And sometimes I'll pop in an even, I'll, I'll even pop in a bonus one. So up to now we have got, these are the first, the uh, second two, and these are the first two I did as a PA alternative and then these are the originals from the kit so six cards up to now and we've still got loads more to be looking at because we've still got one one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 11 12 so there's going to be quite a good series in this uh, joy to the world alternate cards so I can make at least another 12 cards but thank you for watching come back on the next one and see what we make next thanks for watching bye